Okay, this is a demonstration of a Fisher M scope TW5 type and cable locator. This is a battery test on it, a uh, inductive and conductive uh, modes of operation, is a wobble, a warble they call it, which is nothing but a uh, turning the, uh, the, the power on and off, essentially. Here's the power on switch, pull it out and turn it on, has a battery check on it. Uh, it takes six AA batteries, and it uses very little power. Batteries will last a long time with this. Uh, put it on inductive mode. So I know I have a cable here. You can see in my other demonstration, it's right around here. And the receiver it has a meter, a high and low setting, and a battery test, and a pull-out switch like the transmitter. See the battery is okay. Uh, we'll try it on low power. There's an auto sensitivity switch here as well. What this does is it keeps the meter from pegging. Uh, it, it adjusts the the uh, the power down so th that you don't constantly peg the meter. This is what the warble sounds like. So I got the receiver here about 100 feet down from the transmitter. The transmitter is in uh, inductive mode, uh, somewhere over the, the source of the cable. And I'm just down here looking for where the cable lies. So I got it in peak mode here, which is holding the receiver vertical above the ground. And it's dead here. So I know the cable lies somewhere here. I'm kind of overdriving the receiver at the moment. That's why it's very hard to find it in peak mode. So once you get an idea of where the cable is, you can hold the uh, receiver uh, parallel to the ground. This is called null mode. And you move it back and forth. You can see I got a peak here, a dead spot, and a peak here. That means the cable is lying. Uh, you can also use this for depth measurements. <coughs> There's a, uh, a level meter here. If you put this bubble exactly right in between the line and the bezel, you pull it away. And then we would mark it again at the center of the unit and measure that distance between here and the null and that gives you the approximate depth of the uh, cable. And the fisher's got a nice loud sound to it. And, uh, so that's a demonstration of the Fisher TW5.